I am a Giami man. I was born for greatness. My greatness comes from my potent center. I pledge to find and connect with my center. I pledge to build my spirit, mind, and body. I pledge to use my hands to build a better world for myself, my loved ones, and my community. I pledge to use my mind to think deeper, further, and higher to create a better reality for myself. I pledge to live my life and go beyond all my self-imposed limitations. I pledge to promote the principles of the Giami warrior and to assist all those seeking the path of success. There's all these things first to myself, to my teachers, to all my relations, and to my higher power. I am Giami. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. That is the Giami players that are said by all of our true members at least once a day. Peace and welcome to our YouTube channel. Check out our videos and podcasts. Subscribe as well as join the journey. Push past your self-imposed limitations with in the Giami journey. Peace. The word is spreading. More and more people are switching to Ambit Energy. Well, one of my neighbors switched, and then I switched. Now the whole neighborhood has Ambit. Who doesn't want to save money? The word is spreading. Switching to Ambit Energy is rewarding in more ways than one. I signed up and got a travel reward. That's nice. Oh, I get to save on energy and on travel? There's a cruise for two out there just a few thousand kilowatts away. I can almost smell the sunscreen. The word is spreading. Ambit Energy even lets you earn free energy. When I get 15 friends to switch, I get free energy. I have 15 friends. At least I think I do. Hey, I'd be telling people to switch to Ambit anyway. If you'd like to switch to Ambit Energy, listen to the following contact information closely. Then spread the word. You heard the, you heard the man. Giami Journey is a proud independent consultant of that company called Ambit, where we are able to provide you with your energy needs. Not only can we provide you with your energy needs, we can make sure that they are cheaper, or at least come as close as possible, right? So now, what you need to do is go to our Facebook page at Giami Journey. I mean, my fault. Um, come on, where you at? Ambit Energy, right, is uh, www.facebook.com forward slash GNJ Energy. Go there, click the sign up button, and it will take you to our rates and plans page. On our rates and plan page, you go down, you can put in your zip code, and it will tell you how much your energy costs. All right? This is Brother Hot Tim. Make sure you know that we can service you as far as your energy needs electricity and gas in Columbus and all throughout Ohio as a matter of fact let me read this let me let me read this list of where we are for those out there that might want to uh, support Giami Journey we are in California Connecticut Delaware Illinois Indiana Maine Maryland Massachusetts New Hampshire New Jersey New York Ohio Pennsylvania Rhode Island Texas Virginia and Washington DC Woo! now you can also get free energy. You can talk to me about that as well. So, hey, come on. You know, what you got to lose? And every time you pay your bill, know that you are doing some serious nation building. All right. So now let's get to the show. Now, of course, y'all know it is election night. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Right? And, uh, you know, I know some people are, are rushing out to do their, do their voting and you know, and I, I salute you, right? Handle your business, right? But first, let me say this. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. And of course, you know, this is Folk Tales for Grown Folks. And this is a Heart of a Simple Production. Where we strive 
to blow up your old paradigms. The explosion don't want to work. <laughs> Intergalactic fuckery is afoot. The election, the election, the election. This is the buzzword on everybody's mouth. Are you going to vote? Are you going to vote? Did you vote? Did you vote? Did you vote? This is the question that has dawned everybody's lips, right? And, um, you know, I had to be one of those party poopers and stuff, you know, because... Picking between the lesser two evils is still picking evil. Fuck it. I'm going to roll the dice. You know what I'm saying? Hey, um, but that's just me. You know, some of y'all come on the show. You can share your opinions. You can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But also, we're going to be able to plug this right back into the folktale of the day. But, you know, the, the, the thing that I need to say is, oh, like I forgot another sponsor. This is sponsored by G&J's That Ambrosia. And that's part of the reason that I'm running late because I'm bottling up because I got an order going. Well, as somebody donated some money to Giammy, and y'all know, man, I I don't like when people just give, so I like to give them something in return. You know what I'm saying? So you know, this is my my give back. So somebody gave fifty dollars, and you know they gonna get they gonna get their order of uh, uh, Ambrosia because when you give to Giammy, Giammy gives back. You know what I'm saying? We're starting that circular process, right? Now, I need to announce that I will be bringing out a new flavor on this cycle. Um, a brother by the name of Anthony Nesbitt, um, shouts out, uh, bro, uh, made this tea for me. Um, and um, I like the tea. The major ingredient was Irish moss. Um, or sea moss, one of the, uh, it's Irish moss, he told me Irish moss, I guess they're the same, um, somebody told me they're different though, but I don't, you know, well anyway, and it had another herb called bladder, bladder rack in it, um, it was a pleasant tasting one, you know, I have been off the sugar for a while, I mean, I still use sugar, but when it comes to my teas and, and coffee, when I'm drinking it, I'm doing straight black, you know what I'm saying, I like, I like, the, the taste and, and experience in those different tastes. Well, w when I tasted the tea, um, one of my partners who, who donate to Giami on a regular basis dropped by, dropped off some money, and walked out with some bottles, right? And I told him, I said, man, my friend made me some tea. You know, he shared some tea with me. And I was like, you liked it? You know, he, he looked at the bottle. He said, what kind of tea is that? I say, uh, I told him the ingredients. He said, man, you need to go and mix that and see if you can come up with something. And I did. And uh, I spoke with Brother Anthony and and, uh, um, and, and I'm going to just call him Mr. Nesbitt. I spoke to Mr. Nesbitt and Brother said, hey, man, the name of it is God Body. I call it God Body T. He said, I said, okay, that's a I said that's a good name. So I'm gonna call it that God Body Ambrosia. Right? So we got that God Body Ambrosia popping off live and direct. It's incredible. You know what I'm saying? Um as if you was checking me out on Facebook, you know I got that black uh that black power combo, red, black, and green. The red is the new the 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 the, the second newest one, which is uh, beat, I call it that beat you up ambrosia. The black is that death eater, one of the, one of the number one ones that be flying out the door when people do make requests. And the last one, of course, is that god body ambrosia. Be sure to check it out, right? Be sure to check it out. Um, so here we go. Let's get into the story. I don't feel like covering the news. I'm going to make this quick because I still got to clean up because, you know, bottle and all that takes a long time. The title of the story today is called The Prophet. And um, I'm going to cut this buzz off in, in the background. Hold on for a second. It's 
So, if you come on the line, I'm still there. And it just let me know when you're here, and then I'll just pick up the phone then. All right. So, the prophet. Let me turn on the lights because I'm old. I, older. A wizard sitting in the marketplace was telling the fortunes of the passers-by when a person ran up in great haste and announced to him that the doors of his house had been broken open and that all his goods were being stolen. He sighed heavily <sighs> and hastened away as fast as he could run. A neighbor saw him running and said, Oh, you fellow there. You say you can foretell the fortunes of others. How is it you did not foresee your own? <laughs> oh, my God. That one hurts. You know what I'm saying? That one hurts, right? Because a lot of us are able to predict other people. I mean, but, you know, this is a, this, this is a constant thing because it's not a, it's, it's not a negative shot at the wizard, right? Because one of the things that you often find is that the people that have the best skills at doing something are horrible at, at doing it in a sense, doing it for themselves or doing it for others or, or teaching others to do it, right? Like they say, great players make horrible coaches. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like it's like when you are good at something right and you invest yourself in it i don't even know if he was, he was a good fortune teller right but a lot of people use use the fact that bad things are happening to you to kind of discredit what you know you know um like you know some people like show and prove right and the the, the issue is a lot of times is that sometimes people can be really good at something but they might not be good at the application mode. Like, for example, a lot of teachers. Like, uh, you go to college. A lot of y'all paid all this money for professors to give you lectures about um, the marketplace or to give you lectures about economics or to give you lectures about uh, 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 business and, and owning businesses and give you le lectures about black history and give you le lectures about all... But when it comes to them applying that information to their lives or to their personal success, they're horrible at it. They don't discount the fact that they might be an excellent teacher. You know what I'm saying? But people will often use that to discredit other people. Now, but what that tells people like myself is this. I have to get good at applying what I'm talking about. Right? I can't just be talking nation building. Because what the people are looking for, they're looking for the balance. They're looking for that person that is able to eke out some success but in, in their own personal life as well as provide other people with means of eking out um, something in their lives, right? So when we read the story, let's read it one more time. The wizard sitting in the marketplace was telling the fortunes of the passers-by. So he was sitting and he was executing the wisdom that he had received. He was looking at the patterns because I want you to understand what fortune telling is because a lot of y'all get spooked out by this, right? Fortune telling or, 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 or looking at patterns because basically it's about pattern recognition. Um, not just because some of us, we could find patterns in anything a lot of us we have been designed as human beings to find patterns so we could find a pattern and we could find coincidence coincidences in anything so fortune telling or, or telling the future or, or telling a person about themselves is about looking at the circumstances that present themselves to you so what you do is to represent those those circumstances to rec represent um the possibilities you either had the person or you cast dice while the person is there this casting of the dice or this laying of the shells or casting of the shells or you having this individual pick the cards what what is supposedly happening possibility happening is that the person's connection 
to these cards is spilling over and a signal from their higher self to them is coming through as they draw upon the cards as, as the lots are being thrown or as the birds fly over them or they see a coincidence. Now the problem become the problem comes when people invest every day in these patterns. That's like a sickness, right? That's a weakness. That's something that can be exploited. Like you see is being done in the world today, right? Every now and then it's good to check the patterns that fall before you. Every now and then it's good to look for the coincidence. Every now and then it's good to look for the patterns, right? But this ability to pick patterns is one of the things that made it possible for human beings to evolve to the point and survive to the point to where we are at this point in time. We're able to see the patterns of the rising and the, the, the rising and the falling of the Nile. We're able to see the change of the seasons. We was able to predict when the seasons was going to change by the bird flying and stuff like that. So we was able to predict the future by using the same techniques that a lot of these wizards use. It's just a matter of noticing things on a higher level. So when somebody casts uh, uh, um, 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 dice, you say you got four dice. Well, four, you know, four the four dice. They got four dice for a reason. It's a specific reason. Like so, for example, in Giami system, you would be fours. Um, it represents order, right? And they cast dice. They die, They they cast the um, the four dice, and a, a, a six, a five, a three, and a two will pop up, right? And you be able to read those because boom, six, five, boom, boom, boom. What's the pattern that they landed in? You know what I'm saying? Which number fell first, right? Boom, and you start with the number that fell first. If six fell first, boom, family is some type of family issue going on. It's something that you need to be aware of in your family. Um, and then if the three, you know, was next and the three caught your attention, you talk about, look, you need to practice your communication um, with your family, you the important something important is about to happen in your communication skills you need to work on those and then the two you know what i'm saying and also you need to be able to communicate in a way that will bring cooperation within your family and not just your immediate family right because when you communicate it's just not with your immediate family you got to communicate with things going on outside you right so it's like you look at the patterns you look at the things and you become when you become symbol literate you could do what this guy was doing out there you could also apply it to your life but the issue could become the issue comes when people start relying on these random on these random falling of things to you know what i'm saying i went to a dress and the dress was this and the boom 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 it said this and then you know what i'm saying we start seeing pictures in the grass and shit when it's just the grass sitting there you know what i'm saying now nah, because so we got to find a way to balance it because it's good to be able to 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 uh um make advances from uh random events it's good to be able to know when a random event is talking directly to you but they're not always talking directly to you you know what i'm saying and you can see this with certain people that think that the world rotates around them like especially with young people um you can see that they think that everything that happens has something to do with them they looked at me funny, so they must not like me. Or they look this way and looking at you hard, you know, boom, boom, boom. Now, now, now a fight breaks out because one person thought that this person's look was uh, for them. When in fact, look, they have had absolutely nothing to do with them. Right? So, you know, so the what the wizard is doing is nothing hard. It's something that everybody can learn to do it's just when we start taking advantage of it i used to do readings and one of the reasons i stopped doing readings because i started noticing the same people would come through asking the same questions trying to trying to wait wait me out trying to wait for the cars out trying to wait the dice out they want to hear what they want to hear they don't want to hear what lands the first time you know they want to try to switch the question around so they could get the answer that they want you know what I'm saying? Damn, this shit just told you, in a sense, that the dude wasn't good for you. Right? We're looking at it. Boom, boom, boom. 
These, the, you ask the question, you ask the specific question, the, you, you rolled the dice or you pulled the cards or you did whatever, and this is what came up. This color represents this. This number represents this, right? Boom, boom, boom. There's your answer. Nah, but then they want to go around and start. So I said, I don't, I'm not doing this shit no more because people is looking for the answers they're looking for. You know, sometimes because we take the other end to the extreme too. Sometimes we're trying to manipulate and, you know, we're trying to play with the universal forces. We're trying to play with those forces and trying to get out of them what we think we could get. When in fact, you need to get the lesson and keep it moving. Get the lesson and, and either either apply or deny. Stop playing, right? All right, so he's sitting in the marketplace and somebody runs to say, your door open. Somebody stole all your stuff. Now, all of a sudden, he's not a good prophet no more because he didn't see the fact that somebody was robbing his house. So some smart ass on the side of the street looks at him and says, you could predict all that for others. What about for you? Now, this is the other part of the lesson that I want to cover, right? There are many politicians that could say they can make things better for us, right? But are they doing the same for their life? Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it, it, it's, it's crazy, right? Because we got people telling us what we're supposed to do, but they're not doing it. We got supposed leaders in our community that, that are making money off the fact that we're not doing well. So when we start doing well, they start falling off. You know what I'm saying? Or you always got people using this same argument. Like, for example, with Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter so much, then why black folks killing other black folks? Trying to discredit the argument. They're using the fact of, uh, of the fact that I'm focusing on one thing. They bring something else into the argument to kind of take away power from my argument. Right? You know what I'm saying? So... We see these games being played. And what our ancestors, what I feel today, what our ancestors trying to make sure we understand is the fact that sometime, sometime, right, we have to be wise enough to catch when people are trying to discredit us or trying to get us off of the sin of something or trying to uh, redirect our attention, Right? Redirect your customer's attention. Redirect your friend's attention. Redirect your tribe's attention from what y'all supposed to be working on to what they think you should be working on. Well, Black Lives Matter, y'all need to go to stop the people. All right, wait, hold on. You know, that's a whole that's a whole nother piece that we could take care of. But first, we need to be able to have something to unify behind. And unifying, see, because this is where... This is where black folks, where we fall short. We don't have a central idea around which we could solidify. Why? Because we got all these side ideas coming in. We got all these people pulling the attention away of the people. See, like, because I was thinking about this, man. I, I was sitting down and I was like, man, there has to be a product that we could at least take ownership of and be the certifying body of. So that we only, we will produce this product. On, well, I ain't going to say, because we wouldn't be the only ones that would be, be producing the product. But we would be the only one that our people would buy it from. Sort of like, see, when you think about kosher food, who do you think about? Right? Jews have a standard of food preparation that only other Jews can verify. And even if you want to say that your shit is kosher, right, in order to get their mark, you, in a sense, have to be able to prove to this body that represents the Jewish people that your shit is kosher. So now you got to pay them. You want to put the kosher mark on your shit? Pay us. Right? Pay up. Is it kosher? You know what I'm saying? Now... I was thinking like something, I mean, this might sound silly to some of y'all, but I was just saying, well, what if we had certified libation water? I mean, this is just 
specifically for the conscious community. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and for ceremonies and stuff like that. What if we had a body that certified the water that would be poured for the ancestors? I mean, just something like that. I already talked about the shea butter, and you know, I call it being on the ash patrol. I didn't say ass. I said ash patrol, right? Black folks, we become ashy, right? There should be no product that we're putting on our skin to get rid of ash that is not coming through the hands of somebody that look like us, that's not being made and produced by somebody that look like us. I'm just saying, what I mean, we we would shut it down just right there. You know what I'm saying? What if the only sweet drinks we would drink? I mean, just little small things that we need to corner a market, right? And stop getting so you know, you know, uh, well, you only buying that. You're, you're practicing re- reverse discrimination or whatever. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we need to stop getting off on. Um, uh, Claw, Dr. Claw Anderson called them horizontal arguments. I think they kind of hit this dude with a horizontal argument. You know what I'm saying? Because now he got to deal with the fact that there's somebody running around talking about he's not a good prophet because he didn't see the robbers in his house. I wouldn't think about me. See, because sometimes when you become a servant like maybe he was, sometimes you can't worry about you. The last thing you worried about is you. Right? You know, many of y'all been in this situation. Many of you teachers, you're in this situation. You don't got time to recharge yourself because you got to get yourself ready for your kids. So you're focusing on your kids. The teachers that have problems are the ones that's not focusing on the kids. They're often focusing on themselves. They're having, they're having battles for control with the children. Right? When in fact, some of the stuff the children are doing, children do. I'm guilty of that too. You know what I'm saying? So now we have to start identifying what people is trying to get us on the, the horizontal piece. Claude Anderson said we need to be vertical. We need to be vertical with our with, with our tribes. We need to be vertical with our communities. We need to deal with those vertical issues. Can we control something from the ground up. He says if you are involved in anything that is horizontal. Anything. Where well, these little funky side arguments can be thrown at you. To kind of dis- derail you. Or to kind of uh, 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 put a bad taste in your mouth. Or, or make you look bad. Right? If you get involved, you need to stay away from those. Because there's no profit in those. Ooh, there's no profit for the profit in that one, right? Profit. How can you predict the future of others when you can't predict the future of your home? Just the fact that I'm sitting here serving you means that in some form or fashion, there's something else in my life that is not getting the focus that it needs. And maybe if he turned his power in and worked on him, what about all the regular people that's been coming to him? Because he was set up in the marketplace. I'm not gonna beat this one up too much. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that long. I'm gonna just stop it right there. I'm gonna thank all those that took time to listen because I'm already running late. I still gotta clean up. I wanna make sure I have peace in my house. I gotta clean up. All right. This is Brother Hi Tim, and I am out.